can price it too. Okay. Thank you for joining me. We're going to do the four step balance test to determine uh, if there's any risk of fall or injury that can occur. So the first, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it for you and then we'll have you go through the process. So the first will be the side by side uh, balance test where you're going to put your feet side by side and you'll hold this for 10 seconds. And you're just going to focus on this standing still for 10 seconds and I'll tell you when to switch. After that, you're going to go ahead and swap feet and stick the, the tip of your foot into the divot where your foot is at and you'll hold this position for 10 seconds. Okay. After you've gone ahead and done that, then we'll swap you to a heel toe and then whichever foot you feel comfortable with it will be where you'll go and you'll hold this for 10 seconds. And then after that, we'll, I'll tell you to swap and you'll swap to a one leg up. So you can go ahead and move your arms if you feel like you're going to balance or wobble. If you feel like you're going to fall, you know, don't, don't hesitate. Put your foot down. Be safe. Um, I'll be close so I can hopefully grab you before, um, you know. So just try to be conscientious of whether you feel like you're going to fall or not. And if you feel like you're going to fall and you can let me know, I would appreciate that because I might be watching the stop clock. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started here. All right, go ahead and start. We'll do the side by side. All right, now what well, you're going to go ahead and just do the. That's perfect. You have no problem doing this. All right, now let's go ahead and swap again. Don't push on the mama, she's trying to do a balance test. <laughs> All right, so we'll start it now. I know it's a little more intense for kids, but you seem to have very good balance. <laughs> All right, go ahead and swap. Um, one leg up. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. we're good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the 30 second sit and stand test. So what we're going to do, this is going to actually test the lower body functionality and strength. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate it first is what you're going to do. You're going to sit forward. You're going to sit down on the chair with your arms crossed across your chest and your feet are going to stay flat. And then when I say go, you're going to go up, stand, back down. And you're going to do this for 30 seconds. And at, at any point, if you feel like you know, you're going to fall, let me know. If you also want to maintain the arms across the chest and make sure that you sit straight down because this is on the edges. If you need to, grab the wall or if you can't seem to make it up like that, you know, just don't bring that. To accommodate, and then we'll, we'll, you can even take a rest, but the timer will still be going. So after that, we'll compare to the normative uh, chart that we have, and we'll go ahead and evaluate your test. So let me grab my stopwatch. Let's go ahead and have you assume the position. And Go ahead and feel free to start at any time. Just make sure you keep your feet flat. Yeah. Very good. that we'll go over all the, the results and we'll let you know. Thank you. We're, what we're going to do here is we're going to do what is called the tug test which is the time up and go. So what we're going to do is I have placed a marker over there 
and you're going to sit in the chair with their flat feet flat, one in front of the other slightly, and then you're going to take, you're going to stand and then take normal strides over to the marker and back. And then you're going to take a seat. And at that point, when I'm going to evaluate the time it takes to, to reach that position and back, this is actually focused on mobility to um, evaluate it to make sure that your everything is uh, okay and in line with your mobility of walking, of how you walk and your balance. Or we'll be evaluating the stride and everything else. Um, just try to keep it as normal as possible. I've got some markers right here and I'll be following along just to make sure that you, you don't trip or anything like that. I'll do my best to make sure that you're okay. If you need to, um, we're going to start and then you can go start at any time and then We'll go from one point to the next, and then I'll stop it once you sit down. All right, are you ready for this? Okay, go ahead and start. Perfect, that looked great. <laughs> so, yeah, and so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and evaluate it and make sure that everything is good and within your time. All right, any questions? No, thank you. Perfect, thank you. That is awfully cute though. All right, so this is a star excursion test. And what we're gonna do actually right now is we're gonna evaluate your balance and some of your lower extremities, see if there's any, um, we're gonna evaluate to see if there's any injuries or possibility of injuries uh, with your lower extremities. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually have you, first, you can have up, four to six trials just to get the feel of it. Um, we'll record them. They won't be marked or anything. It's just mostly to get you used to it because it is pretty difficult and does take quite a bit of focus. So what you do is you put your feet in, um, you stand in the center, have your feet there, and what you're gonna do is you put your hands on your hips. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach to each tape and touch it, but you can't touch it hard. You have to touch it lightly. If you do any type of hard pressing down to get catch your balance or if you put your foot back to recenter yourself that doesn't count um, so you're going to be standing on one foot and you're going to reach to each section as far as you can go if you um, and you can do it in the order you want I consider doing it clockwise I'm just kind of trying to give it a trial here so you just got to touch it lightly and I will mark where it's supposed to go. We'll do that four times and for one leg, and then we're gonna do it four times for the next. And like I said, it is can be pretty difficult. I had a difficult time at the first, so I suggest taking as many trials as you would like. And like I said, just light touches. And then there's the first one and I will be there to mark it. Um, so how many tries? Let's go ahead and have you try it. at least do up to four for each leg just to try it out. That's perfect. And this is not going to be marked or anything so I'm just going to have this with me to evaluate. So yes, perfect. Yeah and it's going to take a little bit of um, evaluation. You don't need to actually know where your mark is seated. That would be not counted but for this trial it's okay you can either do it from the front or the back whichever works for you yeah, yeah. there you go good job <laughs> like i said you don't, <laughs> it's difficult so yeah let's go ahead and just have you try it two more times and then just and we might have you do it four more just so so don't put your foot directly in the center for your feet together and that thought will be in the center perfect and then you can do it from there. And you don't need to see where you're touching, just touch. Good job. Nice. And you can center your foot again just to kind of get your balance because I've noticed that when I try to go that way, I end up getting a little bit dizzy. 
So sometimes I'll go and touch, come back, and just. Well, you can't balance. You can't put down, but you can recenter yourself to go to the next one. So, you know, but you can't push any, you can't use that leg as well as you can't shift that foot. So don't rotate it or anything. Would you like to try one more with that foot? Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is difficult. It's hard. It's hard. I thought it took me a little bit. Okay, let's swap up and try the other foot. Um, unless you feel like you need another trial for that one. Yeah, see, that would bring it back to center. So I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe we, I would bring it back to center, then do it again, then do it again. So let's try that. We'll go with that route. Touch it. Now bring it back. So touch, come back, then go back out. Don't hold it at this set distance. <laughs> You're doing great, though. Don't get me wrong. See, like I said, you know, center yourself. So once you do it, if you come back, yeah, nice. it makes Very it nice. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's why I think you got to bring it back because you come here and then you come back, so that way you're not just used to just holding that out when it's going right there. So that way you can get a full range of the balance because when you do that, you have to come back and reset. Yeah, you don't put your foot on the ground. Just make sure to keep it above floating. It's not a reset. Sorry. And just lightly touch it. And push it out. Too much pressure on it. I have to keep my hands on my hips. Or can I use them as well? It's generally best to keep them on your hips. But as long as you don't fall over or anything and your feet stay the same, that's fine. That was super difficult for me. I ended up having to. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and give it a moment, give you five minutes to rest, and then we'll re reset it. Well, we'll do the, um, for the trials. All right, here we are back, and we've gone ahead and gave uh, Mariah the five minute rest. Uh, right now, just to make sure they get the markings correct, we're going to have the silver for the left and the orange for the right. And we're going to start with the right. The right. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just remember I need to mark it. So, yeah, you're going to go as far as you can, but also to maintain your balance. Yeah. So, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go over the test results. We're going to go to the first one, which is the balance test, um, the four stage balance test, which was uh, you performed that without an issue. So no worries there about falling or your balance. And so we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. OK, so we've gone ahead and done the chair and stand 
uh, exercise for 30 seconds. You got 10, and um, we're looking for something above greater than 12, maybe even greater than 15 for the age range you have. Uh, so, you know, that could have been partly my issue because I have uh, I didn't explain that we want to do it as fast as possible. I think that's one thing I can improve on is make sure to let you know that, okay, we want to perform this as quick as possible. And, you know, provide you instructions, you stop to listen like a good client. And so I'm not too worried about it, um, but, you know, maybe in the future, I'll, I'll, that's one thing I'll work on. So thank you. Uh, but a lower than 10, I mean, a lower than 12 uh, results in standing uh, of the chair stand. It usually indicates like, you know, maybe at risk for falls. Um, so that's one thing we want to look at. So now we're going to actually cover the tug test, which is the time up and go. So you perform that within 10 seconds, which is great. We want to, the concern comes if it's maybe around 12 seconds or greater. Um, your stride looked great. Uh, your didn't look like you had any issues with balance, as well as your posture seemed great. So I uh, had no concerns there. All right, so the last one is the star excursion test that we performed. Um, I know it was the most painful, and I apologize if it's getting a little stressful and me give me all the information, but you did great. Um, the one I was really worried about, the, the, the values, so the one I'm really concerned about is the actual interior reach. Um, that one, if it's generally off four centimeters or so from your left to your right leg, that's where we real concerns of lower body injury. Um, the posterior one as well, I believe that that one was about 3.5 centimeters off. So it's within the good, normal range, the good range. Um, the front was 1.6, so it's fairly close. So no concerns there. You seem to perform it very well. And thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, Anytime. Yeah, thank you. Any questions about any of the tests? All right, well, I'll let you go on your way and